Good afternoon. How are we doing? It is Sunday, October the 8th, 2023. That is the date, the age, uh, the age, the age of the calendar for today. Uh, it is hot today, very hot. Hello, Jeff. Are you talking to me? Um, it's good. It's good. It is very warm today. Very, very warm. Too warm. Too warm, I think. Um, how's it going? 65 people in already. And it is, of course, our last show before Moolah Madness starting next week. Starting next week. So, very fun. And no matter how much money you have, you get paid tomorrow. You get paid tomorrow. So, there you go. Winning for everyone. Uh, but if you have money, of course. If you don't have money in your account, you won't be paid anything. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That is how it works. Two days in the sun. It is that's tough work. Tough work being in the sun. Uh, I wouldn't know what that's like. Um, more money, money for more money Monday for everyone. That's true. That's true for today, particularly. Um, yeah, it's 13 degrees. That's cold. It's like 24 degrees here. 23, 24 degrees. Global warming has changed the climate and now London is a very hot place. Oh, very fun. Uh, Big Brother is back. That is true. Will it be good though? Will it be good? Will it? I don't know. We'll have to see. Um, why warmer than Florida? I know. It's uh, a microclimate around London, which makes it particularly, particularly warm. Um, London could be the new Florida. That that makes complete sense to me. Um, a few minutes to go, and we can go live. I think I'm going to go outside after this. I can see people sunbathing on their balconies, topless, uh, with uh, opposite me. So that's very exciting. Unfortunately, I don't have a balcony, so all I can do is look at other people. Not that I do look at other people. That's kind of this has gone. Just gonna a way I didn't want it to go. Let's uh, move on. Let's move on. Um, five minutes past three, almost, almost. Tim interviews random public show. We could go out on the street and speak to people. Um, I would probably get stabbed. That is what happens in London. I'm joking. I'm joking. I can't get stabbed. Um, maybe though. Touch wood. Um, the London crowd is always very interesting. We've done many, many things out there. Um, Will Saturday winnings be included in your payout? Uh, yes, they will. Everything, everything will be paid out. Uh, so Saturday, Sunday, Friday, Thursday, Wednesdays, Tuesdays, Mondays, and all the days the week before as well. Uh, but yeah, everything, every balance is being cleared for Monday, tomorrow. Global morning means London is the new Florida. That's true. We also have uh, alligators in the Thames reported today. Um, they killed a few small children and tourists, but we're not panicked yet. We're pretty good. How does the payout work? Do you need my PayPal? You do need to have uh, you need to have your email of your PayPal set as your email. Um, otherwise, um, yeah, we won't pay you out um, because we can't because you don't have your details. That is what we do. Feed Joe to the alligators. I agree. I agree. Maybe not Joe to the alligators. They um, they can eat other things. Um, all the other people around. Uh, right, well. If my is four, you still pay. Yes, we're paying all balances. Um, Craw Daddy's baby was not okay. It was eaten. Uh, quite graphically, in fact. Uh, I won't go into too much detail about it. I'll let Craw Dad talk about it on uh, Friday next week. However, it is now five past three. Uh, good afternoon, or evening or morning, wherever you are. Uh, this is more trivia, our daily trivia show every day at 3 p.m. Um, it's very easy. There's six questions. The quicker you answer, the more points you get. And uh, today is our last show before our Moolah Madness two weeks, which is going to be way more exciting than these boring normal shows. Ugh. But uh, let's look at the prizes and see what they are today. Where's my prizes? Here it is. First, second, and third, I get £10. Uh, scores of 35,000 points, we get £25. And we'll do one spot prize at the end of £2.50. That is all. That is all. My balance is 29 pence. You're laughing. You're laughing. You can get... I don't even know what you can buy with that. But something, something. Uh, right. Let's go then. 
with question number one. I'm going to show you a video because this is a video. This is a video question. Um, remember everything you see. Don't forget anything. Uh, here we go. There we go. Did you remember that? It is, of course, uh, The Matrix, the classic film, The Matrix. Um, but do you realize um, what I'm going to ask you is what which of these is not a famous line from this film? Is it there is no spoon, dodge this or hasta la vista, baby? Um, they are the six questions. They are the six questions. The six questions, the three answers. What am I on? Too much, too much of everything. I just got in. Hopefully you got the first one. Um, well, uh, you didn't have to really remember anything in that video. Um, but I can reveal that Hasta La Vista Baby was in fact from Terminator 2. Dodge this when Neon, when Trinity shoots Smith in the head. And uh, There Is No Spoon was when Neo was looking at the spoons. Uh, which 120 of you got right. Well done. 47 for There Is No Spoon. And uh, 84 for Dodge This. Well done to everyone who got the right. 200... And 47 people answering that. Well done. Right. Question number two. I'm going to use another image because images are images are fun. Uh, okay. So now I've got three images. Number A is the Leaning Tower of Pisa. Number B is Queen Elizabeth's Tower. Elizabeth's Tower. And number C is the Great Pyramid of Giza. They are my three uh, powers of today. And my question is, which of these is not the tallest or the shortest? Is it A, C, B, B, A, C, C, B, A, B, C, B, A, C? Which number is it? One of them, one of them. C isn't a tower. Pyramids are sort of a tower. Um, so which is not the tallest or the shortest? Um, well, the Lean Tower of Pisa is quite, quite short, actually. It's uh, 55.86. Um, the Great Pyramid is 167 metres. That's massive. But Elizabeth Tower six at 96. Thus, B is neither the tallest nor the shortest. 105, you got right, well done. 64 for A and 84 for C. Well done, 105 people getting that right. It also was the middle one. The middle one was also not the tallest or highest. I put it in order from shortest to tallest, but no one could have known that. No one could have known that without reading my brain. Uh, he was meeting Ben after all, it's true. Right, question number three. Uh, it's, which one is this? Is it this one? Yes, it is. Um, I have to be honest, this is one of my f most favorite paintings I've uh, ever seen. I actually own it, it's in my house, and this is how much I like it. But this famous painting is by which artist? Is it Dali Monet or Cezanne? I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, but I'll say it confidently, and that will, uh, that will solve all problems. Let's have a look and see. Um, well, it's not Monet. Monet is a, a good man, but not same. And we have a lot of Dali questions, but it's not. It's not, in fact, Dali. It is a Cezanne, uh, the bottom one, which 115 of you got right. Well done. 48 for Monet and 31 for Dali. Lots of Dali, but not today. Not today. Right. Three questions in. Let's look at the leaderboards. How are we doing? Uh... Tough questions, tough questions. Questions two and three are lucky. All my questions are lucky. Uh, Quiz Monster, Andy H and Mila in the top three positions, followed by Janice, Rebecca, SJP, Courtney, Sagnika, Dot, and Roxy. Uh, they are the top 10 people. Well done, everyone getting it right. Chantilly there with 999 points in that question. The quickest presser of all of them. Uh, well done, three more questions to go. Hopefully easy. I got this wrong because the clock in my room is melting. That, that makes sense. I get that. I get that. Um, right. Question number four. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Um, 
I burn. Uh, some of us burn. I burn quite a lot. Um, I get burnt when when you touch hot things. Um, sometimes, you know, we all get burnt for different reasons, metaphorically, physically. But my question is, which volcano takes its name from the Greek word for this phrase? Is it Etna, Krakatoa, or Stromboli? I'm the queen of sunburn. That's good, that's good. I do burn in the sun quite a lot. Uh, Krakatoa, says Matty Fields. Um, but I can reveal the correct answer is in fact uh, Etna, which is in Sicily. Which 63 of you got right, well done. 77 for Krakatoa and 28 for Snobroli. It is in fact uh, the volcano Etna, um, which is named uh, after I burn. Um, what does Etna mean? Uh, it means I burn. Um, comes from the Greek. Um, it's the highest active volcano in Europe and its topmost elevation being uh, 3,320 meters. So way higher than all those other things I showed you before. Um, there you go. That's it. A lot higher, a lot higher. Um, right. Question number four. We're talking about a sport now. Sport, my favorite topic. Um, it is, of course, uh, this sport of of hurling. Hurling, uh, you hurl balls around off sticks. You hurl sticks, you hurl balls around, sticks catch it. You, you hurl them to other people with sticks, they catch the ball. That's what it is. Hurling is a sport. My question is, in which country did this sport originate? Is it Malaysia, Australia, or Ireland? I'll give you a clue. The people in the photo, I feel, do maybe kind of give it away a bit. Um, because they don't look very Malaysian, if you ask me. Um, well, the correct answer is, of course, Ireland. Ireland did, in fact, average average. 64, you got right, well done. 68 for Australia. I can see why, the yellow and blue. It makes me think Australia, doesn't it? But it's not. Um, and 24 for Malaysia. Um, maybe a mistap, but I can sort of see what would go through. Uh, right. There we go. Um, hurling, the sport. Did you know about hurling that the average pitch is 137 metres? That's a, that's a long pitch, more than 100 metres. Uh, but before we go to the last question, let's look at the leaderboards. How are we doing? Lacrosse has long sticks. It does. I got it wrong because a bat flew in my room. That is not good. Um, the guy on the right looks Latvian. Maybe he does quiz monster. Ryan Cahello and Urban Sombrero now in the top three. Um, that's it. They're in the top three. Um, we've got one more question to go. How many people? A lot of people got 10,000 there. Like eight people got 10,000 points in the last question. Clearly, they know their island too well. And we have, uh, ooh, not that many over 35. 20 people over 35? 21 people? So, if this last question is difficult, uh, it means that most people won't will get a bigger split but we'll see we'll see so to finish off question number six who are these handsome boys they're of course a uh, boy band sensation the beatles the beatles that is that is who it is it's the beatles um but my question is which song by these ends with a single note that is sustained for 40 seconds. Is it she's leaving home, a day in the life, or getting better? It is one of them. It is one. I know this as Anime Dan. That's good, that's good. Uh, Marty Fields, I think you got it right. It is in fact, um, a day in the life, a day in the life, ends in 40 seconds. The Beatles, which 110 of you got right, well done, 66, but she's leaving home. And 48 for Get Better. Well done. 110 people. Did you know that Paul was the tallest of the Beatles? Um, and he was 5'10". And John and George were both about an inch shorter. Interesting, right? Lots of height. Lots of height facts today. How high and how long things are. Uh, always a great, interesting topic. Uh, right. Let's look at the leaderboards. How are people doing? Oh. I didn't get the balls then, but now I have. Um, still the tallest, probably, probably true. Um, 
Of course I get it when it doesn't matter. That's the problem. That's it. Uh, well, Quizmonster, Ryan Kello, and Cobble Weasel in the top three. Well done, you guys. You have secured £10 for today. Um, and well done to everyone who got a 35k, which isn't a load of people today. Isn't a lot. Isn't as many as normal, I think. Um, but I'm slowly looking down and seeing how many people there are as I add you to my list of winners. Okay, maybe more than I thought. Chantilly, Chi of Steel, Dino, Wolverine, and that's it, that's it. Uh, 46, 46 people over the top, well done. Um, 47 people to the pot, that's it. So it will be take away the others. Uh, there you go, prizes, a winner's pop-up sent out. Well done to everyone who won. Um, and that is the end of today's show. Uh, it's been fun, all been very fun. Um, oh, the evil's back. How? Why? I don't know. Um, it's all been fun, and yeah, we'll be back. Oh yeah, spot prize. I forgot about the spot prize, didn't I? Let's do the spot prize. How many people are in? Two, six, two. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Everything's forgetting. I'm forgetting everything. Let me just like this. Okay. Spot prize, right. Here it is. Okay, Let's spin the spot and see what will come up. Maybe it'll be lucky for someone. Maybe it'll be zero again, that was fun. Uh, 135, which means that the winner is Jay Crotchen. Jay Crotchen, you are the winner. Um, 135, you have won a, a massive two pound 50, two pound 50 of prizes. Um, let me stick you in my list of winners um no prizes go to bots no prizes go to bots don't worry uh here we go spot prize done right well that's it that's done show done today um so yeah from next week for the next two weeks we are doing our madness uh mula madness week which should be very fun um all prizes are stuff you can give away to creators so you know in the spirit of growing more making more shows producing more formats um you know check it out win and then choose which creators on the platform you want to support to make more content and hopefully we will see um a lot more creators that we be making shows a lot more content as well we're um think of it as investing in our ecosystem um, to help the app grow as opposed to uh, taking one out, which I think is exciting and fun. Um, and yeah, that will be definite for the next two weeks. Uh, enjoy the rest of your Sunday afternoon or morning or just Sunday generally. Uh, I'm going to now go and sit in a pub. Sit in a pub and um, doing it. Some of the other cases, oh yeah, I mean... You can still win money on more. You just have to stream content, stream good content. That is uh, that is how you could do it. Um, we always, the partner application process is fully open to everyone who wants to make shows. So um, good luck with it, do it. Thank you guys. Enjoy, um, enjoy the rest of your day and I will now run away and return tomorrow. Goodbye. And return tomorrow. Goodbye.